Well, we're set for fun today and we're going to go on a bike ride with uh, Buzzy B Bike and Care for Dogs, WVS Care for Dogs. This has got to be fun. Sunday morning, cycling with Buzzy Bee Bike and WVS. Giving the money to care for dogs. Doing something for myself. Out and about on a sunny Sunday morning. Let's see if we can get Pita in the shop. If anyone wants to walk up, you can walk up. Hello. This is quite fun actually. You use the power to get up the mountains uh, or the little slopes uh, like I want to do now and and it helps you get up the mountain. It's very good. You press a little lever and uh, on you go. Easy. Getting the right gear first obviously. It's good fun. What a wonderful way to spend a Sunday morning. Well, Casey Neistat, beat your heart out of my glasses. I think his theory of uh, wearing dark glasses so that you can't see whether you're looking at the center of the screen or whether you're looking at, at the camera or elsewhere, but your glasses are facing towards the, the, uh, the screen. Oh, that's a very good idea. Well done, Casey. Also overcomes the problem I have with my baggy skin. My eyes looking as if they're closed all the time. Very good. There we go. Care for Dogs was started in 2006 by Karen Havalka along with Corinne, I can't remember her surname, and Amandine Lasagne. They started in 2006 at the uh, current clinic area and over the years many dogs uh, were uh, retained uh, long term because they were either dumped or rescued from hoardings in, uh, in the city. Uh, it grew to such a state that uh, it needed to uh, find somewhere for uh, some of the old timers that had no chance of, uh, of you know, finding new homes and also for occasional quarantines. So if dogs needed to be quarantined through virus or something, needed to go somewhere away from the main shelter. So a new place was found and they called it uh, Hope and a new shelter area for care for dogs a remote area was found so this is where we are right now and uh, Ian very kindly is telling us about the uh, facility here Well here we are again. I was only here last week and today we've come on the Buzzy Bee uh, WVS uh, CFD bike ride to see uh, train number 744 at uh, the Royal Train Garden. Uh, Kawasaki built in 1936. Uh, you can uh, hear and see a little bit more in the video I've uh, put above. Uh, 
uh, that I captured last week. So uh, good ride so far, let's carry on. I can recommend this, it's really good. It's therapeutic for the busyness of the week or the stress of a, a, a phalang life, the stress of an expat life in Chiang Mai. Yeah, it's really stressful, especially when you're on a bike going up a hill with electric power. That's not stressful at all. It's wonderful. Good fun. Wow, lovely. This is almost ready for harvesting. The bridge is almost the same color as the rice. If you walk on the bridge, it's like you're walking over the rice. Well, this delightful restaurant which walks over the uh, paddy fields, currently they're growing soya bean, uh, is actually uh, started by Neil and Peck, uh, a couple of uh, Thai singers, well-known people, and Roger on our party uh, said he's uh, actually had a photograph taken with them. He's uh, one of their uh, best uh, fans. He's one of their most famous fans, in my opinion. So uh, Roger was delighted when we went along and, and took his photograph uh, against the backdrop of the sign there. Well, this is the second temple stop we've made on our journey this morning. Uh, Wat Ban Pong. Well, here you can purchase a little gift set to uh, Tambun in the temple. A typical uh, bundle of flowers, some incense, a candle and uh, an interesting little um, stick, the Y stick. I'm not too sure what this little Y stick name is. Pitai, what's the name of the Y sticks that you see here, the white ones? What, 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 what do these Y sticks mean? My cam. My cam? Yeah. Ben, ben my, ngay, kwan mai. My, my is mean wood, right? Mm -hmm. Cam. Cam, support. Uh, support. Okay. It's normally We've come into the temple in our shorts and t-shirts and uh, Bidai has put on a, a long skirt to uh, respect the Thai tradition of being in a temple properly dressed. It's always the best way to uh, uh, dress around a temple with a long skirt so wearing shorts in a temple is not something you should um, consider. Wat Ban Pong, it's uh, down in the in the valley uh, tucked away it's the red uh, walled buildings around the uh, area of Ban Pong but up on the mountain you'll see the white structure uh, this beautiful chedi it's uh, glorious in the sunlight There's Ian at the back of our group. He's picking up the stragglers. That's me. I'm straggling. <laughs> um, currently have 60 to 70 dogs that we uh, look after long term, support and try to rehome. 
and then we have between 20 and 30 rescue cases. Well, we're almost back a full circle now, and we've come back to Care for Dogs Shelter, and the dogs have given us a, a, a rousing reception. Uh, we've lined up for a group photo, and Ian is explaining uh, what Care for Dogs does. He's uh, telling us some uh, of the history and also uh, answering some of the questions that people have. Uh, for me, it's a particularly nice moment to see all these people paying attention to Care for Dogs and I hope that uh, Care for Dogs goes on for many, many, many years to come. First, Ian, I'd like to give you this, what's coming from the tip box. Uh, of course, no care to do that for Care for Dogs. Um, I asked the ones for transportation to give something in the tip box as well, so I already got some. Oh, if, the I other one, if the other one wants to do, you can give it straight direct to Ian. Okay, yeah. uh, as an extra for Care for Dogs. Yeah. And I made an envelope with uh, uh, the amount I said I will do at least, of course, 50%. But I decided we had nine people joining, so I put in there a 9,000 baht. Uh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Donation to Care for Dogs. And for your yeah, thank you for joining. Your support, sir. Two years in a row. Thank you very much. Thank you. It doesn't feel like a bottle of whiskey, it's good it's because, it's because, it's because I don't drink whiskey. I bet you can pop whiskey in there if you like. Thank you very much. Welcome to uh, Lana Rock Garden. Fantastic little place, uh, just up the Samoong Road from Wat Ban Pong. I've come up here to make a few uh, audios uh, to the, for the video this afternoon and also to do the aerial shot of Wat Ban Pong. And why not have a coffee as well? They've got a brand new machine by the look of it. And I like to pop into this place to practice drone flight. It's very handy because it's a wide open space and you can uh, you know, fly up and down the valley. I really enjoyed today getting out of town on a bike with Buzzy Bee Bikes and Care for Dogs, the fundraiser, uh, raising some funds for the dogs at the shelter. I really enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the little video I put together and uh, the people who came along they were very very friendly it was good to make uh, contact with some people uh, new people and talk about dogs talk about care for dogs talk about the ride and the bikes the bikes are fantastic they're really good fun i think uh, you may have well sold one to one of the uh, riders today anyway if you've not subscribed to my videos please do and if you have thank you for joining me thank you to the new subscribers hit the alarm bell that will let you know there's some new videos released so until next time see you bye bye